Well, folks, earlier you saw Matthew and I trimming out the back straps, tenderloins, the heart, other parts of this moose that he shot. And now this has been marinating in the fridge for a few hours. I've got the grill warmed up. Once it's marinated, this is a, a piece of the, the tenderloin. And some people cut it into steaks. I like to cook it as one big piece and then cut it after it's cooked. Marinade, grill, and my favorite dog day spice rub. Follow along, we're gonna show you how simple this is. All right, I've got my hill, my hill, my grill warmed up. I cook this at a super low heat. And my neighbor dog wants a piece of it. Now my wife's dog is barking, she wants a piece of it. Ooh, look at that, huh? Mmm. And then on each side, when I'm first cooking it, I put a small dose of rub. Just like that. I'll leave it out here. Check it every three or four minutes. Because I... Like I said, I don't like overcooking it. Some people will just torch wild game, not me. So this is on about as low a setting as I can get on my grill. And because I don't wanna risk overcooking it, I will come and check it way more often than maybe other people do. But when it's done, ooh, can't even wait. Well, now we're gonna flip it over. And you see it's on a low heat. Look at all that juice right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh, look at that, it's just falling apart. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit more of my dog day. Not a lot, just enough to give it that extra little bit of flavor. There we go. give it about two more minutes so that, what's my heat like 240 so I know it's not gonna get way overdone I'm just trying to get that inside because it's such a big thick chunk of meat I'm trying to get that inside just a little bit more done without the outside getting too done that end piece I cut off was so good Anyone who asks why we hunt, if they were standing here at this grill right now, smelling all these flavors, cutting off little pieces and eating them, and tasting all those natural, deep, rich flavors, you would quickly understand why we hunt. Look at that, huh, folks? Oh. Hmm. Oh my. And there you have it. From the field to your fork. In short order. And the best thing you could probably put on your fork. Enjoy. <laughs>